Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the other video. iOS 19 is getting closer to the release and now Apple confirmed different accessibility features regarding iOS 19. In today's video, I'm going to talk about all these features that are pretty much confirmed by the Apple that are coming with the iOS 19 and they are going to be insane. Now, let's begin with the very first one that is going to be head tracking in accessibility. Well, you will be able to use your device using your head. Now, there are different options available over here. As you can see, you can raise eyebrows for a different action, open your mouth for a different action, smile, and many more. And it is coming to very, very soon. It is going to be the people who cannot use phone with their heads. It's going to help them a lot with this. Also, there is a feature that is going to be a very useful for the deaf the people. It is going to be known as name recognition. No, it will recognize the name using the sound by the uh, other person. So it will, you know, um, listen to the voice of the other person and tell the name. So, for example, it says, maybe Sophie. Name recognition recognized a sound that may be Sophie. So it is going to also a really helpful upcoming accessibility feature in the iOS 19. Also, you will be able to share accessibility settings maybe for your other iphone so you don't have to set up all these accessibility settings if you get any other iphone or you're using your friend's iphone you don't have to set up every setting from scratch you will be able to share the accessibility settings right away from your current iphone now next is about the accessibility um a reader that is also coming that you know makes text look way bigger and you can read very easily as you can see it is also coming with the iOS 19 very very soon and I'm quite like I'm quite impressed with the Apple that how they are bringing such useful features with the iOS 19. Also there is going to be a Braille experience. Now Braille experience is also going to be a very useful feature for many people. You will be able to take notes, perform calculation and do more stuff as you can see. So yeah that is also coming with the iOS 19. No, definitely when all these features will come out with the iOS 19, I will be able to show you all these features. I will be give you hands-on experience. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and everything is coming very, very soon. If there is something else you want to know about the iOS 19 when it will come out, you can drop your request too. And yeah, now moving to the next one. The most impressive one is that there is going to be the, a new App Store section uh, under every app about the accessibility that what accessibility features are supported by this specific app that is going to be very helpful too. Now this is the most uh, impressive one that is going to be switch control. Now switch control is going to bring that that you control your device using your brain and it's going to happen with the help of brain computer interfaces BCI. Apple is already working on it and it is coming very very soon. Talking about other features, there are going to be an improvement in the background sounds. So background sounds is going to be improved. So if you go to the um, accessibility and go all the way over here into the maybe um, audio and visual, you find a background sound option over here. More settings are coming to this one. You know, maybe you able to pause or stop the background sound or maybe able to automatically stop the background sound or after a certain time using timer or something else these things are also coming over here also the music haptic feature was introduced in the ios 18 where you can feel the haptic while the music is playing improvement to music haptic feature is also coming with the ios 19. also there is a new shortcut by the apple that is known as hold that thought so basically what this does if you are doing something and you know you might gonna dis uh, distract you can use this shortcut, save uh, the um, screenshot and come back to do that thing later. About this video, I will be making a short very, very soon in which I talk about that, how this works. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for that too. Well, this is all from so far the things I know. If I miss anything, I will be covered in upcoming videos. Now talking about the release date of iOS 19, the first developer beta is going to be released on 9th of June. 9th of June is the day when there is going to be a WWDC and on the same day Apple is going to release 
and new iOS. So I will be able to show you all things with the iOS 19. So make sure to subscribe and I will catch you in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.